What's up everyone, John Velasco again here with Phone Arena. Right now I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of the new Google Music Beta feature, which is available right now through certain, uh, certain, certain invites. Not everyone has the opportunity, but we managed to get ours right now. So I'm just going to quickly show you what it entails. So basically when you set up your account and get access to it, you'll be able to, to transfer your songs that you have, uh, MP3s, different formats, to Google directly. You have to upload it. It does take some time, but still, once it's on there, basically you get your own music streaming service. And of course, the great thing about it is that it's free. So with it, if you have an Android-powered smartphone, all you gotta do in order to access the, your songs stored in the clouds is basically download the new Google Music application from the Android market. It's in addition to the standard music player that's uh, already preloaded with your phone. So if you run it, let's just show you here. So this is what you get. You get the experience. It'll uh, show you all your songs, that all the music that's stored on the handset itself, in addition to the ones that are saved with your Google Music beta service here. So for example, we'll play a song. It does uh, take a little bit of time to buffer, but not that long, especially if you have a good solid connection to network. You can select the song. And from here, it's just going to buffer for a little bit. And then once it has a good enough time, it's going to start playing the song pretty quick right there, as you can tell. So you have it. You ha you'll have the ability to do, uh, you know, get, get all your albums and songs uh, to Google. So you'll have quick access to them as long as you have, uh, you know, connection to the network. It does catch some stuff. So in the event that you lose connectivity, it's still going to continue playing and you're not going to have any delays whatsoever. And of course, the music player with the, uh, with the, with Android, it shows you the album cover and gives you track information, just your usual set of controls as well. You could also make an, make an instant mix if you'd like, uh, you could make a new playlist as, as well. But the nice thing is that it's not just limited to Android smartphones. And I'll show you that real quick. We have the iPhone right here. I'm going to show you quickly how it works with this device. So you have the iPhone, of course not an Android smartphone, there's no access to downloading the app, but you could use the, the regular um, the regular uh, web-based uh, player. So you just type in music.google.com into the web browser and you uh, of course log in with your email address and password and from here you have basically a mini player on its own so you have access to all your songs that are stored with Google and from here you could play play your songs and nice thing about it too of course um, you can multitask. You could still run. The, do, you could run a bunch of different stuff as long as it's not audio that you're playing. You could browse the web, do whatever you want. And the other nice thing is that you still have access to those controls using the built-in um, music player control functions with the iPhone 4. So I could pause it again, play it again from where it's at, which is pretty nice. So even if you don't have an Android smartphone, you could still access all your music. Uh, from different a variety of devices, generally through the uh, through the web browser on there. So I'll show you another one here with the uh, with the uh, BlackBerry Playbook. Again, we just load up the web browser, typed in music.google.com, logged into our account, and from here you have your at your your player again, and you'll be able to play music just like that. Pretty nice, and overall. The quality of sound is pretty good actually too, um, it has a good good tone, it doesn't sound muffled or it doesn't seem like it's a lower quality, it's definitely more than pleasant to the ear here. Let's just show you this real quick, let's minimize this, and you have still all the functions you expect directly within the, uh, the uh, online music player. So if you'd like to learn more about the Google Music Beta software service, you can check out our website, phonearena.com.